Okay, boys and girls, it's time for another Mothberg episode. Let's see what we have paying attention or not spending enough time curating the specimens that I've got. All right, guys, here's a couple cool ones. Let's do this. We have got here what I believe is a beautiful pink spot, pink spotted hawk moth. And what I believe is... Paragonia Lusca. Got our rehydration chamber ready to go. We put some chlorocresol in there to keep the specimens from getting moldy. This is the half blind sphinx. This is Paragonia Lusca. It's another moth that's, you know, just South Florida beauty and it feeds on velvet seed. But let's put this on here and we're going to wait a couple hours and let our hot water go to work and we'll mount our moths for you. All right, we're going to mount right now a blind, half blind sphinx, Paragonia Lusca. In fact, let's go ahead and do our typical sphinx moth surgery. I almost always will sever the, the wing tendons with an X-Acto knife to make my job at mounting them a lot easier. A lot of people don't like doing that because it, you know, kind of, you're, you're, you're cutting your specimen. Some people don't like that, but okay. Wings have been severed. Tendons have been severed, not the wings. And we've got our thorax pin. This specimen's actually got some miles on it. The thorax is actually missing a lot of scales. Um, but it's still a good voucher for the university. I always like to invert my wings and give a pinch, move the antennas okay. up. Okay, had a little camera issue, guys. I um, was using my GoPro and my GoPro overheated. So, I had to switch to using my iPhone. Hopefully it doesn't inconvenience the video too much, but I've got my half blind Sphinx here and I've got the antenna I'm working on. I put a pin here next to the abdomen, hold it in place. And I'm gonna just move the left side forewing up. Ah, that's a beauty. Even though there's scales missing, that's still a beautiful specimen. This is not a not an easy moth to find, y'all. Not an easy moth at all. They only live in areas where there's rough velvet seed. Scabra is the genus. And, um, you know, that's pretty much tropical hardwood hammocks of the lower, of Miami-Dade County and the Northern Keys, and that's about it. They might live on Big Pine Key too, I'm not sure. I forget. So that is it. We're gonna pin these wings down and be done with our half-blind Sphinx. We will prop the abdomen. we go and half blind sphinx is ready to go guys it's uh it's getting there you see the little the tufts on the back of the abdomen here that um identifies a male specimen females don't have those tufts that's a sex tuft so nice specimen we've got our label there Always label your specimens, guys. Always label your specimens. Location, date, to the best of your memory, and uh, try and identify it. Gives your specimen a lot more value scientifically. All right, guys, that's about it for the Luska. We'll wait, wait a week and we'll take her off the board. All right, our... 
This is our um, Paragonia Lusca coming off the board. I'm such a nerd. I know all these names. I know. I know I'm a nerd. But I love it. <laughs> I love being a nerd for mods. All right. Paragonia Lusca, half blind Sphinx, and it's coming off the board as we speak. Check it out. And I actually have no idea why they call it the half blind Sphinx. It's supposed to look like an eye that's half shut. I don't know. Regardless, it's a cool bug. And we're putting a label through this one and putting it in our box. And it's got some, uh, put him next to his buddies here, his sphinged buddies from the Florida Keys. Guys, we've got some great mods down here. If you like the video, give me a thumbs up and uh, join us on our taxonomy research as we check out some of these rare beauties from South Florida and the Florida Keys. I would say and beyond, because we've got some cool bugs up here too from North Carolina from a recent trip. More bugs to take off the board in future episodes. Till next time, guys, let's get out there and enjoy South Florida or wherever it is you're from. These aren't from South Florida. <laughs> Join us in another episode to see what those are.